is very dedicated to the employees of stem cell. He is incapable of telling a lie. I tell the staff exactly what's going on because if I don't tell them, Alan will tell them. For Alan, it's not just one characteristic. It's, it's a balance between two. He's an eternal optimist, but he also has a brilliant mind for critical thought. And that combination is very powerful. I'm passionate about my work because I feel I'm, I'm helping people help other people. So and that's really what we do in stem cell. We're making products that help uh, healthcare. He built up the Terry Fox lab and that was one of the finest research institutes in the country. He did that from the ground up. Then he built up stem cell technologies and he took it from just about eight people to a thousand. And anybody that does it twice has enormous talent. This is not luck. Alan has the ability to see 10 years ahead of the rest of us, uh, while also being able to really focus on what's happening in the present and making things happen quickly. At Stem Cell Technologies, we make tissue culture media for growing blood-forming progenitors. And that's important if you want to measure the number of stem cells that are going into patients or to understand how those stem cells go wrong and form leukemia. So it's, it's the media to grow those cells and characterize them and understand them. He funded this all himself and he has mortgaged his house on a number of different occasions. So he, he has taken on a lot of personal risk. I was in the Terry Fox lab when Alan decided that he really ought to start selling some product. He should sell some media because scientists really needed it. He set up manufacturing in the hallway. And the raw materials, there was nowhere to store it, that was in his garage. In stem cell, we hire only the best people. It so happens that 57% uh, of our employees are women, and 50% of our uh, executive group are women. And that's because they are really good. Alan has always encouraged an environment where anyone can come work at stem cell that is trained in the right field, regardless of their ethnicity or gender or any other factors. We all need to feel we belong, and when they have a connection with the CEO, it garners loyalty, and it's a very powerful force of cohesion within the organization. We grow at 20% a year. We've done that, actually 20 to 30% a year, and we, and we continue to do that. People just love our media because it allows them to grow all these cell types without them having to worry about how to put together these complicated formula that is the media that the cells require. And last year, uh, General Electric Healthcare uh, wanted to get into the CAR T-cell business, which is a new way of treating leukemia and other diseases. And our tissue culture media for growing lymphocytes is really the best there is. And so they have licensed that uh, and are helping us make it into a clinical product. The whole CAR T-cell thing is, is a totally new approach, and it's immunotherapy, and using the patient's immune cells to actually go after and kill cancer cells. And it, it's been revolutionized. It already has revolutionized the tr treatment of cancer. He has a great vision. He wants to make a difference to the world, and it's a message that rings true, and he lives it. So in that sense, there's a huge amount of trust. You know that uh, he'll promote the right thing, but he'll stop the wrong thing. Well, I think inspiring people to go into business and making a success of it is, is the future of Canada. We have to become more productive. We have this wonderful healthcare system, uh, but what we don't do is produce a lot of the products that go into it, and we buy those in. No, we want to start making those in Canada and doing it so well that we sell those products to the rest of the world at a profit and bring those export dollars back and help to grow our industry that supports the healthcare sector, which is really the largest industry in the world. He sees the need to build a knowledge economy here and he just isn't talking about it. He has built a company and hires a lot of highly trained people. And to see that you can build a company this big and be this big a success just slowly working on your own terms, uh, that's very inspirational.